Hey, what's up guys? Coach Matt over here, Primal Athlete Training Center. Still have the stuffy nose, so I apologize if my voice sounds weird. 232, 233 videos on track and field and the throwing events, and I'm still getting questions that I have not yet answered. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for sending in the questions. I love answering them. The question today has to deal with how do you re-grip a javelin? Well, in order to re-grip a javelin, you need a few things, none of which I have with me right now. You need to have a javelin, obviously, where the grip is falling off. You need to have the javelin cord, which the specific name for it is called javelin hank cord. I believe it's H H E N K or H A N K, javelin hank cord or grip cord. Um, you also need a Sharpie marker, just a permanent marker, and you also need plain white Elmer's glue, just the, the plain, super cheap, orange, twisty cap, white Elmer's glue that every kid in school had growing up. That white, liquid, cheapo, it's like 50 cents for a big bottle of it, Elmer's glue, they sell it everywhere, you can get it anywhere. So the first step, you have your javelin, we have our fake javelin here, you have your javelin, okay, and put it underneath here. So you've got your javelin and the cord is falling off. Well, before you pull the cord all the way off, the first step, take a Sharpie and you're gonna mark the top of where the cord was, maybe with a dashed line right here, and the bottom of where the cord was. This is extremely important because javelin is, is weighed in, but it's also balanced. They want to see that the javelin is balanced correctly and that the cord is in the right spot on that javelin so that you don't get a mechanical advantage, let's say, of having the javelin cord too far back or too far forward to let you throw it further. So they're going to measure the width of the javelin cord. They're going to measure where the javelin cord is in accordance to the tip and they're going to make sure that the balance point is on that cord as well. So you want to make sure that you mark exactly where the cord was and that you mark down exactly where you're going to put the new cord. After you mark the top and the bottom of where that cord is, take a knife, cut the cord, and unwrap the javelin. And what you're going to see is there's probably some glue left underneath. So just pick away at the glue, take that knife and kind of scrape the glue away. Be very, very careful that you don't damage the javelin. Get rid of that glue. The next thing you want to do is take your javelin cord. I have a shoelace. Take your javelin cord, and what I like to do, or what I liked to do, again, I used to do this. This was my job when I was back at you know uh, MF Athletic Company uh, selling track equipment. I'd fix a lot of the hammers and the weights and the javelins from local schools. They'd bring them in, and we'd regrip them and put new swivels on the hammers and on the weights and things like that. So what I'd like to do first and foremost is I like to take the cord, and the cord is pretty thick, it's pretty fat, but I like to fray the end of it, and make the end of it really, really smooth, and fray it out, and let it kind of, let those fibers open up. And what I did was I started at the tail end. The reason why I started at the tail end, and you see this at the end, is that when you finish wrapping the javelin, sometimes there's a little bump, and a lot of officials will see that sort of as, a uh, advantage for you when you put your hand on the javelin that you could use that little bump at the end to get a little bit more push, a little bit better grip. So I always started at the tail end. And what I do is I put Elmer's glue, just lather the thing in Elmer's glue all up and down in between those two marks that you made with the Sharpie. Then I take the frayed end and I would lay the frayed end into the glue facing downward. Okay? The reason it's frayed is so that it lays flat, so you don't have that big bump. So you, lay, you fray the end and you lay it flat, and you simply just start wrapping the cord around the javelin. It's kind of tough to get started at first, but you just simply wrap the cord around the frayed end. Now, if you are ingenious like some of the manufacturers out there, what you've done is you've created like a little machine that spins the javelin as you wrap the cord. So you're just going to spin the javelin. I'm using the space between my leg 
uh, my calf and my, uh, and my hamstring, but you're gonna start to wrap the cord. Now with javelin cord, the tighter that you wrap it, the shorter and the harder the cord is gonna get. Uh, the looser that you wrap it, the, uh, the, the softer, the fluffier, the, the more uh, puffier, I guess you can say, the cord is gonna get. So just wrap it down there, you can see, just wrapping it down, wrapping it down, wrapping it down. It's magically appearing, wrapping it down, wrapping it down, wrapping it down. Every so often you might have to push it together, but just keep wrapping it. Remember, this thing's covered in Elmer's glue. Keep wrapping, keep wrapping, keep wrapping, keep wrapping, keep wrapping. Keep wrapping. And as you see, when you get to the end, it just shoelace works out perfect. It's almost the same size as a regular javelin. You get to the end, and now this is the tricky part. This is where people are like, crap, now what? Now what do I do with this? What do I do with this little end that's sticking out here? How, how do I, you got to the end of where the, uh, of where the Sharpie mark was, and you're like, how do I tuck that in without screwing this whole thing up? Here's what you do. What you want to do is you want to loosen up the last couple of lines on that. Then you take this part here and you put that part underneath the first one. Let's see if I can do this. Underneath the first one. You put that part underneath the second one. Remember, there's glue all over this thing, so it's going to stick. Put it underneath the second one. And then you put it maybe underneath the third one. Usually you only need two. And you pull it nice and tight. You pull it nice and tight, and you see there's that little bump right there. A lot of officials will take that as you being like cheating, like you're trying to get some type of a, a advantage over, you know, a sixteenth of an inch extra little bump on there. But you get that little bump. And then all you do is you take your knife, you cut off the end, and you tuck it in, and then boom, you have wrapped the javelin. There you go. Now what I like to do, there's a few ways that you can kind of customize this. Uh, I had some javelin throwers that liked a really rough cord. They didn't like that soft, kind of fluffy, uh, puffy cord. They liked a really rough cord. So what I would do is I'd take Elmer's glue in my finger and I would just rub Elmer's glue all around the cord. And what that does, if you keep rubbing Elmer's glue all over it, that is actually going to dry and make the javelin cord really hard. So that's how you do it, guys. That is how you wrap a javelin. Again, just be careful. Make sure you mark where the old javelin cord was before you start wrapping the new javelin cord. And at the end, just take your knife, tuck this in nice and tight, take your knife, get right in there, cut it off, make everything look pretty. Uh, the manufacturers, that's pretty much how they do it. They've got it on a machine that spins, they put glue on it, put the cord on, the machine spins it, tuck it in, cut the cord, done. Um, did it all the time, it worked out well, I never had one return to me that uh, didn't measure correctly or weigh in properly. That's pretty much the simplest way to do it. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of money, you just have to go to a track and field company and get that Javelin Hank cord. Uh, you're not going to be able to get it uh, at like Home Depot or Lowe's. You have to go to a specific Javelin company. MF Athletic has it, I know some of the other companies have it. If you want your entire javelin reconditioned, there's a guy on the West Coast, his name's the Javelin Man. I believe that's what it is, the Javelin Man. He reconditions javelins. He does a phenomenal job. He'll put a you know, custom paint job on there. He'll straighten it out, take all the dents out, put a new cord on there. He does it all for you. He can recondition an old javelin to look and fly brand new. Even some of the older rule javelins that were weighted uh, a different way. He can even fix some of those to make them legal to today's standards. So if you really want to get crazy and really want to get custom and you really are attached to your javelin, send them out there. If you just got to do your grip on your own, it's pretty easy. Get the cord from uh, MF Athletic or any of the other track companies out there and uh, you, know, you can do it at home just with some Elmer's glue and a Sharpie. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Hope you guys try it out. Hope you like the video. Any other questions, matt at primalatc.com or you can go to our Facebook page, Primal Athlete Training Center. Just click like and you can ask away. Hope to hear from you soon.